Hey there, everybody. It's RevKev here. Pray you're having an amazing day today. So I have a question. Can movie critics change their mind? Now, think about that for a second. A movie critic goes to see a movie, sometimes the premiere, sometimes they see it days, if not even weeks before anybody else. They write their article. They publish their article. Their opinion is now in print. It's now out there for the world to see. And most of those critiques are based on their initial reactions to what they saw. Are they stuck having to keep that same opinion for the rest of their career? Now, the reason I asked this question is because right now, since we're just days away from the release of The Rise of Skywalker, there seems to be this hankering down of people on Twitter and social media with little blue tick marks, people who are officially part of the media, are still defending The Last Jedi, are still defending The Last Jedi, are still defending The Last Jedi. Even after two years, they're not bowing down. They're not changing their opinion at all. And I asked the question, is it because they can't? Is it because once that official opinion piece is out there, you are forever bound to that position? And the reason I asked the question is because I went back through my own social media. Um, I went back through my Facebook scroll, kind of scrolled back, you know, it took a while to find it on my phone, but they found this statement. Give this a read. Yeah, it says on here that I loved it. I loved The Last Jedi. The problem is today, two years later, after if multiple viewings, I don't love it anymore. Now at least whew, I can protect my honor that right here in this post I say this is a terrible continuation of the Skywalker saga. At least I've got that going for me. Whew, I protect my honor that way. But it was after the second viewing and definitely by the third viewing that something was just not right. This just wasn't sitting good and you kind of start piecing it together and exploring it a little bit more going this is Sure, it's visually cool and there was a lot of neat kind of stimulating stuff with the special effects, but ultimately the story was garbage. It didn't go anywhere. They didn't do anything. They didn't build the characters. And I found myself liking it less and less and less the more I think about it. But that initial post is out there. So am I forever bound to that initial post that I put on social media? And we all know the answer. Of course not. Of course I'm not bound to that. I'm allowed to change my mind. I'm allowed to change my opinion as I explore something more and learn a little bit more and dig deeper into something. But can these reporters do that? I'm not 100% convinced that they can. I kind of wonder if they are stuck having to defend that original thing that they wrote because it actually looks bad on their career to write something one day and then to sit there and say that you don't agree with it anymore in such a short period of time about something so controversial as The Last Jedi. I think they're stuck, but that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you think they're stuck? Can they change their mind? Do you have examples of reporters and reviewers changing their mind when it comes to movies like The Last Jedi or anything else in pop culture? If you've got an example, I'd love to see it. Put the link to that in the comment section. So until the next video, this is Rev Kev here. Have an amazing rest of your day. God bless you. May the force be with you. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon in the next video. Take care.